Welcome on the TJ Network. I'm Ving Sarah and today we're going to play Dark Souls 2 Game Boy from Software. And we're going to go uh, and check Belfry Luna and then we'll go to Cinerize. Because I want to, to grab a few stuff from, from Belf Belfry Luna before. It will allow us to, to open a lot of doors in Cinerize with the Bastille key. And let's, we need to go to. Uh, what is it? Yes, the Servant's Quarter. Want to enter the Belfry Luna, and I need to advise you to maybe just catch your internet connection if you go there because this is a, a PvP area, and it's very annoying to to have people just invading you when you are trying to kill a boss, and if you are going to lose a lot, lot of souls if you if you don't do that. It's it's pretty dangerous. So let's just use the Pharaoh Stone if I get I hope I got one. <laughs> okay, I've got one. Cool. So it's going to open this wall here. Alright. So we are going to enter the belfry and just behind the door there is a dwarf. Which is going to allow you to to go in the in the bell covenant, I think. The bell belongs to the princess. Stay back or we slice, slice it. Stay All right. back or your piece. And this this covenant is going to allow you to join these troops which are just trying to prevent people to good go to the boss. To guard this bell. Stay away, foul. Stay back. He's not going to Yes. He's going to ask me. And no. <laughs> okay. Alright. So when you go upstairs, you're going to meet dwarfs, which are going to try to kill you. They are a little bit blue. So let's see, there is one here. They are pretty dangerous. Oh. These are NPCs, but. They look like player, so they're going to come for you. I think. <laughs> so let's just loot this thing before you come in. Skeptic spice. Is he going to come, or is he just waiting for me upstairs or downstairs? I'm going to go on and go in there. There's a chest. All right. He's not behind me. No, it's not. And there we are going to get a blue tearstone ring. And there is another skeptic spice, I think, just here. Yeah. Alright. So let's just go upstairs again. And try to find this opponent. There is two more dwarves up there. So if they could just not be in the same room as the invader, it would be great. No, I think we are fine on this there. So just attack me, I'm just going to kill you then. Alright. And for this one I, I'm going to try to use my spells. So you see this door is uh, access to the bus. Which is uh, an, end an endless flow of gargoyle. It's the main difficulty of this boss is to find the right timing to attack these. In fact there is only five gargoyles but it's it's quite enough. You'll need to um, to kill them as fast as you can. So I'm going to go upstairs, but I would like to maybe just can I just shoot somebody because there is a lot of people. There is I think two or three dwarfs plus the invader, which is upstairs. So maybe I'm just going to take my biggest arrows to kill these guys. Yeah, I'm going to use a uh, humming soul mass, and if it's not working, I'm just going to go with something a little bit more punchy. Oh crap, I just... Oh, run, 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 run. Alright. I'm going to get my souls because, you know, I died. Oh, come on, L leave me alone. Just... They're not dead yet, but they are going to... at some point. Oh, it's just... Can. Oh crap, it's just not 
Pretty wise of me. Oh, they have old bows. Not fun. Let's try to... Finish this one. I could just go with the uh, soul spears. Oh! Come on. Stop doing this crap to me. There are plenty of these. Oh, no more. No more arrows for me. So in fact I need to pull this lever here on my on my uh, in front of me, in fact now. Which is going to open the the door to access the bus. So let's just do that now. I don't know if I can be invaded again by NPC. Alright. And there is two items here. There is a corpse and there is a chest. I'm going to begin with the chest right now. Alright. With Twilight Herbs and Radiant Life Gem. And where's the corpse? Uh, should not be far. Oh, here it is. And we've got Skeptic Spice again. There is three Skeptic Spice, I think, around here. So it's going to allow you to handle much better spell. And so here we are. This is where we, we meet the five gargoyles. This is a boss key which is a lot easier to deal with as a mage than a, a warrior. But it is still dangerous. So I'm just going to go with these to begin with. And I'll switch to my most powerful spell to get rid of these guys very, very quick. Come on. I think the other one is not far. Let's try to avoid these and to kill this one very, very quickly. Alright, so now I just run for it. Because the other one is going to come very, very quick soon. Alright, I need to run a little bit, I need some space. If you can focus on the same one, it's better. Another one is going to arrive very soon. It's time for me to heal a little bit. I don't know how much damage I'm going to take. And I need to destroy this one very, very soon. So let's go with a little bit of. I mean, so mass. It's going to be very efficient if I manage to see where is my enemy. Okay, let's just run a little bit. Ela. And uh, I'll need to get rid of one of these guys. Oh, nice. Let's finish the one while I can. When there is only one left, it's a lot easier. Okay. The point is to keep them on sight. Okay. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit easier when you've got some extra level to help you. So let's see what we can grab here. There is a soul of a pro knight. And I think... The key should not be far. No, 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 I ju I'm just mistaking myself. I need to go that way. And downstairs there is a bonfire. And a chest. Alright. With a ring. So I'm just going to go to this place. And there is a few more stuff I need to deal with here. There is a few dogs downstairs and uh, and an invader which is going to yell me some stuff. Uh, maybe I can just kill a few from here. Yeah, I can. Because you need to kill these dogs very, very fast because the invader is going to, to come for you and it's quite aggressive. So if you can just kill the dog in one or two blows, it's better. 
Oh no, and the last one. So let's just switch to magic and I'm going to give him a, a few gold. Another one in B. Alright, and let's just wait for him to go. <laughs> okay, let's loot this, this corpse around here. Oh, there is another one. There is another dog. Where is he? Oh, there. Yeah. I think I just loot, looted the Bastille Key. And there is something else here. Enchanted Palchion. And are we good? I think there is no, nothing more here. So let's go back to the fire. And we'll need to, to TP to another place to to go to Cinerize. So let's go. We are back to the seventh quarter, which is a bonfire you probably have. So I'm going to stick with this one. But if you want, you can go a little bit faster by traveling to the um, Stretch cells if you get it already. So let's just go that way for now. So you just need to. You know the way already, I think. <laughs> but you will see, I'm going to beat a few enemies on the way. Not very dangerous. But I'm going to take them anyway. Oh, come on, I j did not expect that. It's been a while since, since, since I fight this guy. Upstairs. There is a, a few memes around here. Let's try not to die stupidly. Hopefully, these are not very powerful. Use it if they don't attack. I'm going to kill the one which is upstairs before I go for any other one. Alright. Good. Almost there. Only two mummies. And we should be alright. There is a lot of, bu of bonfire around, so... It's pretty easy to come back if, you're, if you are dead or something. So this is where you reach the Cinerize, but I'm going to just show you upstairs because I don't think I've did that in any of my video. We're going to see Strad, the merchant which is going to trade your boss souls. Oh crap. For weapons. So it's a pretty good thing. I just finished the other one. I want to do that cl clean because I don't want them to kill the, the mage. Alright. So here it is. If, if it is the first time you come here, it's going to be petrified just there and block the bonfire access. And if you get a fragrant branch of yore, you are going to be able to well, end petrify him. This is a most and you can buy him a few rings, which are pretty cool. Rouge water. And a lot of spell. I don't have this one. Come on. <laughs> and I can take this one too. So, there's quite a few. And you can trade stuff too. You can trade the souls of the boss for weapons. Lots of different weapons. And you can access to spell too. Oh! I didn't take these. Mm. I'm going to just use... Do you really? Yeah. I'm going to just use a little bit of souls to grab these. Okay, it was just so little. <laughs> ah, better. I think I need... Not much, not much than that. Well, very repetitive. So let's grab the Soul Shower. I think this one is a very good spell. But I will equip it later because I don't want to 
resist the enemy. I will do that on the next bonfire. So thanks to the Bastille Key, you can open this this from here. That put, not very useful, but there is a little item here. So petrified dragon bones and fire bombs. When you open this door, you're going to be at the exact same place. Then you would be downstairs. You are in front of the, the tower here. I'm not just going to jump because if it is the first time you come here, you need to to open the gate first. If you don't want to be stuck here. So let's just go in there. I'm going to just kill this enemy here. I don't want to be attacked by the rear. Alright, could I avoid being hit, but lots of light for jam. And here be careful because these guys up there are going to shoot you. So they're pretty easy to avoid, you just go in the direction and you just switch. And they won't be able to do much damage. So let's go upstairs. Maybe they are going to jump on this platform. But your best bet is just to, to go there and take the ladder here. Because there is a bonfire upstairs. And maybe you'll get... no, they are all downstairs. So I'm just going to lit the bonfire before they reach this, this stair here. This is a good place to fight them. Are they going to go upstairs? Or are they going to wait for me downstairs? We don't know. I'm going to check. Oh, here he is. I didn't expect him to be there. Alright, let's just kill him. So, I'm lacking just one bowman around here. Crossbowman, as a matter of fact. Where is he? Is he downstairs? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take the item which is just there. Be careful not to fall. And I'm going to... to lit the torch. And lit this little thing here. Alright. So now let's go down. We've got a few of these guys to, to kill. At least there is one which, sh which should be as it is there, because you should have fold here. Maybe you just fall downstairs, which is not a good idea, because it's going to increase the number of crossbowmen downstairs. I'm just going to use my spells to get rid of these guys. Alright. Another one here. I'm pretty sure... I'd when you you are going to reach this place, you you won't be able to get this guy in just one shot. Maybe you'll need two with the great heavy souls. There's an item here. As usual, don't fall. And there should be two more. I think there is three crossbowmen here, but now there is four because the one which was the upstairs just fold. All right. I'll just lock him and kill him. And I'm going to finish the last one with my sword because I don't want to use so many soul arrows. Good. So life jam. Just random loot. Heavy crossbow. And uh, heavy crossbow again. I don't think I need that many crossbows. So let's go downstairs. Be careful to be sure that the elevator is here when you, <laughs> you go on this platform because sometimes with the abets you just think it's there but it's not. So I just need to do that to get the item which is here. Asserting knife. And then ju just jump downstairs and be careful not to fall on the plates. You don't want to make it go upstairs again. So I'm going to let this one with, I think, a flame butterfly. Alright. It's just because I like the light effects. 
and we're going to get in. There is a few enemies which are just going to be resilient to my to my attacks. And, uh, it will take probably some time to kill them. Only three of these guys, but be careful they are they are big. They are slow but could do some damage. And that I'm not sure if they are resilient to magic. Oh, but I know something else. Let, let me just leave this. I know they don't like poison at all. So if I just equip my long, my uh, what is it? My poison long sword, I should be able to do much more damage. You can find fight them here. They are as slow on, gr on the ground than they are in the water. Just be careful not to get. <laughs> okay, they are not that slow. So let's try to attack this guy. Maybe if I just walk on the elevator and just walk back, they are going to just attack me, so I can just give you a few hit. Okay, it's not a good place to fight these guys. Oh, maybe it is, if you just use magic. Yes, if you use magic, it's just good enough. Because they won't be able to attack you. If you use a bow, it's, it could be good too. But I think I'm going to fight the next one in the water. Much more space. But maybe if you just leave the elevator upstairs and let the all here, maybe you can make these guys fall. I'm not sure. Something to try, maybe. So, there is an item here. Splim Bone Dust, which is going to increase the amount of life that you are healing with your SS Flask. This is a pretty good item. You just need to burn it in the fire in Magella. So, let's see. Is that Poison Sword better than the the fire swallowing against these guys. Okay. Let's try to hurt him. Oh, let's just get out of this place. Okay, let's try to go behind him. It's not easy because it's so big. Oh, come on. How could he be so big and so fast at the same time? Let me just go back a little bit. Oh, this is time when I need to attack these guys. Oh, come on. Not sure my poison, poison sword is going to work well. I'm going to go back to magic. But I w would prefer not to use all my all my magic spell on these guys because having a few for the boss would be better. He's a swordsman, so maybe I will not have the advantage. He's supposed to be fast. All right, so just one more to go. Maybe I could just use my magic long, long sword. <laughs> Let's try this one. Hopefully it will work. Ouch. Okay, just be careful. There, oh, there is a little mummy which is coming to us. Let's just not stay here. Too dangerous, and I need some life. All right. Okay, when he's doing that, he's going to fall on himself. Maybe if you just roll, you're going to be able to. Ah oh crap! I thought I was far enough. 
Oh, if I can backstab him. Maybe just what I need. Alright. Bell keep a bow. Oh, nice. So let's just try to save a little bit of Estus Flask. Okay, this was the worst. There's an item here. And thanks to the Bastille Key we've got in the Belfry Luna, we're going to be able to open a lot of, of doors which are, were not possible to open. Especially at these stairs. Nothing here. Next room then. Maybe I should just kill this guy in front of us. Let's aim for the head. Alright. There we go. There is a corpse here. With fire seed, which are going to allow us to increase our uh, Primancy Flame. You are able to open these two doors with a key. This is going to avoid you to go downstairs. So maybe if you if you don't want to fight the three guys at the entrance, you can just run and go upstairs. It would be probably easier. And there is two mummies downstairs. So I'm just going to, to fall in the water. Oh, I did not forget any item here. I don't remember... Oh, this is the right size. And is there any on this side? I'm not... Yes, there is two. They should have seen me. I don't hear them moving. Having a few kunais could be a good idea here. I think there is another mummy, maybe? No? I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> so where is this one? Just a little bit short. And there is one which is just hidden here. Be careful not to get killed. I think there is no more item here. I'm going to check because I did not check properly in the next room. Yes, it's alright. So let's just keep going and... Another one here, okay. So that was good. Done, but it seems not. My character is so slow in the water. Let's try to see if there is another one because these guys just make a lot of damage when they explode. So, Soul of a Pro Knight and Pharaoh Slug Stone. Great. Now, let's open this gate. Alright. Good. And thanks to my mm, flame. Then but fly, I'm going to leave this torch here. And this one is going to be useful for a change. Alright. Let's cross the bridge. So, normally this boss is fought in the darkness, so you, you have trouble seeing him. And there's an item here down there, I'm going to get it after a while. So you're fighting in the night, and you have a lot of trouble locking him, and he's just moving a lot. But with, with this tactic, you are going to lit all the room. And it's pretty cool, because you're going to be able to see him. You can do that on both sides of this monument. So you can see the, the full room. I will not like it at all. I think maybe I can defeat him with with my current spells. I hope so, at least. I'm going to go with the uh, Arming Soul Mask to begin with. 
and we'll see. So, yeah, with a little bit of luck, we should be able to do that. Six SS flask should do. Seems unpleasant. Okay, let's try to survive this. Why the darkness again? It's not. Oh, we don't like this. At all. Let's try to use this again. Okay. Running is always the best uh, option. So I need to be careful. Ah, crap, I missed him. And this was a bad call. I'm going to use my spell. If you just stay far away, it's going to be good enough, I hope. But don't forget to roll when he's doing this kind of stuff. Oh, I lost my my luck. If you can just keep him at range, it's going to be an easy fight. Even if you don't don't have Oh, ouch. As powerful spell as I've got right now. I'm going to use the Soul Spirit to finish him. Alright. This one is pretty easy. You just need to roll when he's attack and when you've got enough range, just blast him. So here we go, let's check, I think. We've got a primal fire to, to lit. Nothing in this room. No. I love how these doors are carved. It's pretty it's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, here's a chest. Fragrant branch of your own Elizabeth mushroom. So with this branch you can you can unpetrify Strad if you want. Just checking. Most of the time these messages are just <laughs> wrong, but sometimes it's just working. So just leave this bonfire. And go back to Magilla. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video will be helpful. And have fun! Don't forget to subscribe if you like this series, I will just keep going. <laughs>